learn how to create a talisman using a planetary square. This is a simple and effective way to attract specific planetary energies into your life in order to create desired change. Let's get started. First, you'll need some paper, a pen, preferably in a color associated with the planet you're using. If you don't have a special colored pen, just use black or a pencil, a ruler, some scissors, an envelope, and optionally you can use a fragrance or anointing oil associated with the planet you're working with, and a candle, either white or a color associated with the planet. You can use a regular candle, or like I am today, an LED candle. Before we begin, make sure that you have downloaded the free booklet from arielgatoga.com slash squares arielgatoga.com slash squares. This booklet provides detailed instructions for all the numeric squares for each of the planets, plus so much more. It also lists what each planet governs and many of the correspondences. It's a valuable resource for your magical practices, and it's 100% free. Now let's create our planetary square. Today we will be working with Jupiter, which is great for abundance and success. First, draw a 4-inch square by 4-inch square on your paper using your ruler. Next, divide the square into a grid of 1-inch squares, 4 columns and 4 rows. Referring to the booklet, fill in the grid with the numbers for Jupiter, starting with number 1 all the way to the largest number in the grid, number 16. Next, personalize the square by creating a sigil using your name. Do this by converting your name into numbers using this scheme. Start with a small circle denoting the first letter of your name and use your ruler to draw a straight line from that number to the next number in your name. You'll see that I have a repeating number in my name, and I denote that by drawing a small little hook. And then from that hook, I use my ruler to draw a line to the next letter, until I get to the last letter of my name, which I denote by drawing a small perpendicular line like this. Next, write a petition to accompany your talisman. You can do this on the back, or like I'm doing, on a separate piece of paper so it doesn't bleed through. You can write the petition to a general planetary energy, or you can write your petition to the angel associated with the planet or a deity associated with the planet. Today we are writing our petition to the Archangel Sakiel. Place the completed planetary square and your petition in the envelope. Seal the envelope and leave it blank on the outside. If you're using perfume or oil, you can anoint the talisman with it now. You can also, if you desire, charge your talisman by burning a candle on top of it. If you're using a regular candle, let the candle burn down and out all by itself. If you're using an LED candle, make sure that you leave the candle turned on for a minimum of one hour. Finally, place the envelope under your pillow or your bed. Leave it there until the following new moon. After that, simply dispose of the talisman by ripping it up and throwing it away. The best time to create your talisman is on the first day after the new moon governed by the planet you are working with. For instance, the first Thursday after the new moon for Jupiter, the first Friday after the new moon for Venus, etc. All of this information is in that free booklet. And that's all there is to it. You've created a powerful talisman using a planetary square. Remember, this method can be adapted for any planetary energy you want to work with. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more magical tutorials from me. Until next time, blessed be.